Good morning! Uh, it is the morning of EVs in the park, electric vehicles in the park, and I am running late. I haven't thought of a decent excuse why, but today we're going to attend the largest EV event of the year, and I'm going to tell you some big things that are happening with me later on in the year, big EV challenges, adventures that I'm going to be doing, so stay tuned to find out more. I'm here with Gateman Dave. Hi Gateman Dave. Um, I thought you were a BMW i3 owner. Tesla mate. Have you got a Tesla? No. Have you put your order in? No. Are you ordering one? Mm. When? It's done. You've, you've ordered it? Yeah. What it's model? Done. What model? Performance. Performance? Don't tell anyone. You need to speak up because the microphone's no, don't, there. Don't tell anyone. Oh right. No. What colour? I uh, can't say. Come on, what colour? Midnight silver. Silver? Mm. Midnight. Sil mid right. Black interior? Black. Black. Mm. Had to be done, mate. I like the white one. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not done it yet? No, I've not ordered um, yet. I've got, to sell, I've got to sell the i3. Oh, okay. The, the problem well, with the i3. I'm going to do that as well. The problem with the i3 is I made a five pros and five cons video about the car and I think I might have. You uh, <laughs> <laughs> shot your <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So has the gate been busy, Dave? It's busy, yeah. Okay. They're still coming now. And what's the rule about letting people in? What do you tell them? Uh, well, if they smell. Yeah, right. Or if they go, blah, 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 you don't let me. Yeah, okay. So EVs you send only. them that way to the car, the other car park. How do you check if it's a Rex? <sighs> you can tell. Can got, you? Got a flap of shame. <laughs> <laughs> Their Rexes are allowed. Rexes are allowed? Yeah. yeah. Just not Fevs? Uh, not Fevs. Not no. Fevs? No. Hey, how many cars do you think we've had so far, Dave? I reckon we've had over 100 already. Here with Martin, obviously from EV News Daily Podcast, and he's broke one rib, and he's now going to break the other rib on my scooter. This one, does, this <laughs> side hurts a lot, and Nick said go on my scooter, so this isn't going to end. How do I turn it on? Right, so uh, it's on. All right. As soon as you push off, yeah. the push the accelerator down. <laughs> when I push off, yeah, and then no, no, yeah. Oh. Wait, wait until you pushed off. Oh God, it hurts already. Right, push off first. Now. And then press the button. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 he, he hasn't figured out how, that it's a scooter and he can just turn it. He, why, where's he going? Where's he going? <laughs> he, he's gone. I think your dad's buying you a scooter. <laughs> oh, oh, it's got good regen. Oh, it's got good regen. It has. Have I timed it right? Yeah. I haven't touched the brakes yet. There you go. Oh, I love that when you come to a stop and you haven't braked. So, is, is your daughter getting a oh. scooter? No, how much is it? 400 quid. 400. Oh, there's a referral link down below in the description. Oh, Nick and his <laughs> referral links. <laughs> well, hey. There's also an octopus on it. There's an octopus referral link down yeah. in the description as well. What a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise. This is brilliant. You should get one. Not you. You what? should get one. I should get one. You shouldn't get one. Yes, I should. Bed. You should get one. You should definitely get what, one. When's your birthday? Oh, well, you got Christmas. Yeah, got Christmas. 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 You never well, know. Christmas. I'm going to have a total meltdown. You Christmas can, 2021. You can only have one on one condition. Your dad can use it. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Right, goodbye. <laughs> See ya. Goodbye. <laughs> Still at EVs in the park, seeing Neil E. Roberts from Sussex EVs, who's uh, giving away free cake as usual as a normal EV event. It, it is. We, well, we try to bring along as much cake as we can. We, it's a good way of building bridges, I think. Yeah, and Leanne's very kindly made them vegan as well, which does help seeing the majority of EV owners these days do tend to be vegans. A lot of them do. Yeah, I'm trying to go a bit more vegan, as you probably know, because we've discussed it. Um, I still eat the occasional bit of meat but I've reduced it right down mainly fish um, and occasionally we'll have two three vegan days a week but it's once you realize once you get an electric car and you realize that it's saving the environment one way you then want to say you then go oh meat's actually worse than a car so it makes yep. a lot of sense it, it does make total sense and the thing is these vegan cupcakes they are so nice uh, they are so much moister than you would expect and so yeah they're just lovely yeah I was quite surprised I I asked my wife, I said, how do you make a, a vegan cake? She was like, I don't know. She says, bake eggs. 
<laughs> and then Leanne said, no, it's... Uh, it's flaxseed. Flaxseed. Yeah, flaxseed. So you put your flaxseed in water. I, I'm only saying this because I heard it about two hours ago. <laughs> so you put flaxseed in water, put it in the fridge for, say, 20 minutes or so, and, and it, it kind of it goes a little bit gelatinous. Yeah. Uh, and that basically replaces the egg. Is that a real word, gelatinous? Gelatinous is a real oh, word. Right. You can look that one up. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> so congratulations on the model uh, S that you've, uh, you've got. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I mean, the club's doing really well. It is, so, you know, a, a benefactor bought this for me, so... Yeah, I, I mean, if it, you it want... It was Nick. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> but the main reason I'm talking to Neil is we, I'm launching today Derbyshire EVs, and Neil is the reason behind all these local clubs being set up, because he's basically rallied us all together, showed there was a need for local clubs locally, and got it all rallying around, and he's helped uh, set up logos, these little logos that Derbyshire oh, EVs got, yeah. and, uh, I mean... Talking Sorry about, for jumping in. Talking about people oh, who know nothing about it. talking about people who know nothing <laughs> about running clubs. Uh, here's Craig Tong. Oh yeah. Um, you? Craig, the event Evie's in the park done very well. Uh, it's a shame no one turned up. I know. Yeah. I mean. No, it's a washout. Looks like your cakes have nearly all gone. So it's all good. No, appreciate everyone turning up. So because Craig's so tall, and I've lined this shot up for me and you, you probably can't see Craig. <laughs> Wait, you, can, you can see Craig's chin. <laughs> But yeah, so Dabs Reviews is now an official club, it's been launched. Neil is pre pretty much the main man behind this. He's the linchpin between all these local clubs. So we've got, um, how many clubs now, local clubs? Uh, around 20 regional, well, around 20 county clubs. Okay. Uh, and then there are a few regional clubs like Southwest, Northwest, Northeast, plus Arzoc, plus Tesla, plus Northern Ireland EV, Irish EV Owners Association, EVA Scotland. Uh, and there are a lot of clubs which are all involved in this in this over in this umbrella organization uh, which you can find out all about at evgroups.co.uk neil thank you very much for helping me set up the Abstra evs and i think thank My you pleasure. for all the other clubs in the nexus group you've done a really good job well done thank, thank, you, thank you very much clap for craig for doing such a fantastic job here today absolutely amazing And Craig, I have to say it, won the Achievement Award for this year. And here today to hand it over to him. Craig, absolutely fantastic work. Thank you. That service for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Lean forward when you go up the hill. Yeah. <laughs> A very, very, very exciting video I'm doing next year. Mm, very exciting. Dean, do you want to tell everyone what we're doing? Well, this car that we have right here behind us, uh, it's got a bit of history to it. It was the very first electric car in the UK to travel the famous route from Land's End to John O'Groats. Uh, it did feature on the Fully Charged show quite a while ago, and it's getting on a bit now. It's uh, coming up to its 10th birthday in May, uh, and to, uh, to mark that, uh, we're going to do the um, Land's End to John O'Groats run again with the original battery pack it's all original same charger uh, we'll hopefully do it in a similar time a competitive streak wants to beat it but we'll see we're going to beat it now that's the challenge we are going to beat the we'll original see. time which Depends is if it rains i believe it's 32 hours is the original time. by my optimistic calculations we could do it in 27. there is some exciting things that i'm not going to fully announce but we're going to have some companies on board if you want to sponsor this trip then let us know and you can sponsor the trip this, what's the range on this at the moment, Dean? If you drive it carefully on a good day today, you just get about 200 miles out of it. Hopefully, well, uh, no. battery will last more than 18 months, because everyone keeps saying these batteries only last 18 months. Well, I've done a video yeah. on your roaster before, uh, which is where we drove all the way to Evie's in the park. We did. We weirdly, well, weirdly well, it's a nice we're, time we're, to talk about are, this. Yeah, if you haven't seen that year. video, top right. Yeah. But the one thing, the reason why we did that video was uh, when Top Gear first showed this Tesla Roadster, the thing that they really harped on about is um, the batteries only last three years and they've run out and they've been knackered. Yeah, and they've also just reinforced that with their recent episode um, that I'll not mention too much about because it's a bit controversial. Don't want to say anyone at the BBC mentioning no names. It's okay. I uh, I did a video about that controversial uh, video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they said that if you're buying a second-hand electric car that's supposed to do 100 miles, you just look at it and then it's only down to 50 miles and then it will only actually do 35 which uh, I kind of beg to differ on that. Dean, <gasps> Dean is always the most optimistic EV driver so when uh, any time I've done a road trip with Dean he's always 
Mr. Negative about what's going to go wrong on the trip rather than being well, positive. You've got to just plan for every eventuality. Yeah. What if the charger's not working? No, Dean, the charger will be fine. It'll be fine. It always has been. We've never had a charger issue in any Don't of our trips. Don't forget all trips. the peas. Peas? Mm. All not the peas. Piss poor performance provide. Hang on. Put my mouth back in. Piss Teeth poor in. performance leads Piss poor planning provides piss poor performance, that's the one. Right. Put my teeth in first before I say it. Anyway. Remember the piece. When we're doing the trip? May. May. What ish. date in May-ish? We haven't got a date because it's all dependent on weather because if there's storm, whatever they did, Bruce by then or whatever they call it. David. Dean. Yeah. Could be Dean. Could be Storm <laughs> Dean. That would be quite topical. Could it be. would, yeah. Uh, we, you know, I'd rather do it when it's nice. Although I do like driving in the wet. I had some fun in this in the wet last week. <laughs> um, so yeah, w that trip is going to be next year. If you want to be a sponsor, get on board. Yep. Then please give us a contact down below. Uh, yep. My website's down below with a contact form to email me. Um, or you can contact Dean at EcoPlug. Um, which is why we've got a lovely Zappy unit here. Yep. And an EO unit here. Me and Ollie have got some tops tonight for Craig to uh, wind him up and really get him back. And Ollie's got me a top. And I was told not to look at it until I was putting it on. So I'm going to put it on now and see what happens. Cheers, Ollie. Right, well, let's put this on. There you go. Oh, oh he's here. Craig, you right? Brought Johnny with me. No. <laughs> Normally it's not polite to wear them. Uh, Craig, uh, we've got a surprise for you. That's nice. Is it? Uh, Ollie, do you want to undress? It doesn't work though, does it? Because I'm about three and a half stone heavier. Ollie rang me up and Ollie's words were. Nick, that photo you did of Craig's got some legs. I reckon that we should all have t-shirts printed. I'm doing it next year. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching this week's vlog. Don't forget to see uh, next week for Evie's in the Park. And I'll see you all later. Goodbye.